What it is is a motorbike and we're on a, tro a trolley. <laughs> Look something, something like this. Look something like this. And um, the handle is a machete. <laughs> It was like a roller coaster in real life. And now we're just visiting a little town where we're doing some feeding. Hi. It was so scary. Had a heart attack. Look at the roads. Say hello. Hi. Hello. Your house? Wow, so many people. Hello. Hello. Wow, yum, yum, yum. Yum. <laughs> I can't even lift it like ooh. and he puts it on his head and how how, how much does he weigh? Uh, how much do you weigh? How much do you weigh? 30 kilos Nice! <laughs> but it's so heavy he can't even lift it <laughs> Oh, cool. <laughs> wow, new style again. <laughs> Thanks to our sponsor that we can do our feeding programs like quality air equipment. Right. See Bimboy without these sponsors we can't do our feeding program, right? So this is our love project and we are all excited to feed the kids again this morning. Dig 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 <laughs> <laughs> dig, 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 dig. So these are all the supplies. We're gonna eat food. Ooh. Shit, so much chicken. Where did they get the chicken from? Where did they get the chicken from? Yeah, we bought it in the market. And you walk all the way here and now you're gonna eat it. It's been like three hours, four hours. Ugh. I ain't eating chicken. <laughs> Thank God I'm a vegetarian. <laughs> Shit! So they made this veg vegetable dish for us. It's so yummy, but we've got no spoons, so you got to use your fingers. And on this trip, I'm going to be a vegetarian to, ex to have a challenge and experience what it's like. 
So we're just Avocado. waiting to eat dinner. While waiting. Well, I'm waiting for the chef to cook me a nice so we have dinner. A lot of chef here. Because I'm so hungry. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't eaten all day. Uh, it's just been the longest hike I've ever, ever, ever experienced. I was actually quite angry at some moments where I'm like, why did you not tell us how hard this trek was? But anyway, I'm glad that we've done it now. And um, it just brings back memories of um, living in Vietnam and how poor places are and yeah it really makes you grateful for your life in Australia or anywhere a lot of our team who lives in other provinces or you know team members of outsourcing angel are even um, experiencing the same thing where they feel like they are much more grateful now that they've been here so this is the well that we helped to fix and now they can get clean water so thank you so much to Julia Mann for helping us as well. Hello! Say, tickle, 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 tickle. Hey.